When modern speculation pays off, please leave a like while the intro plays. For the 1500th subscriber giveaway contest, I'll be giving away this, the Nice House on the Lake, issue number one, CGC in a 9.8, another great series from JT4. All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, like and comment in any of my videos for a chance to win. Good luck everyone. Welcome back to Basement Collectibles, and if you're new here, my name is Jordan, and if you like speculation, comics, toys, movies, and arcades, please consider subscribing for more great content. So all my Noctera books came back in a 9.8, and right when they came back, the news broke that Scott Snyder's Noctera was going to be a TV series on Netflix, and all of a sudden this book started gaining momentum. So just recently I was looking for a book that I really wanted back in my collection and with a higher grade and I was able to find that. So I decided I would sell one of the five books of Noctera off and the book that I sold was Noctera Secret Variant with the visor down and not up that you see on this cover. And the book that I ended up buying after I sold the Secret Variant is Omega Man issue number three. And this is the first appearance of Lobo and the grade that I got in this for my upgrade for selling off Noctera issue number one, Secret Variant, I got a 9.8 and I couldn't be happier. I'm a huge Lobo fan and to have this in a 9.8, pretty much just trading off, selling the Noctera Secret Variant to get this. I'm really excited to have this on my wall now. As mentioned before, I always love picking up the first appearance of one of my favorite characters and also having him or her on the front cover. Even though this is not what Lobo looks like today, I'm really happy that he's on the front. I can't wait to see Lobo on the big screen one day. After watching Deadpool, it'd be a perfect fit. Comedy, rated R, over the top gore. I hope Warner Brothers does it right if they ever do it. Key Collector states, over the past decade, big names like Guy Ritchie and Michael Bay have been attached to a supposed Lobo movie, but to the dismay of many bastages, this never happened even though this one-of-a-kind character would have a Deadpool-like draw at the box office. I 100% agree. I still remember in public school going to my local comic book shop and seeing Lobo's back on the rack and seeing that strongly suggested for mature readers. This four-part series was fantastic. I can't believe... The comic book shop owner let me buy these and I'm glad that of course my parents didn't <laughs> see me with these comic books but uh, great four part series also let's call this Lobo versus Santa Claus Portraits of a Victim Robocop I was a huge Robocop fan as well to have Robocop and Lobo at the same time was amazing just this gritty artwork as well Really, really like this artwork. Another four-part series. I remember this was just over the top. And I thought this was the probably the first appearance um, growing up because it just said Lobo, one of four. But of course it wasn't. And then Lobo, Blazing Chain of Love. So one of my favorite Lobo books out of the collection, and I knew mine probably wouldn't get a decent grade, so I bought another one for cover price, hoping to get a 9.8. But uh, I got a 9.6 instead. But again, I call this Lobo versus Santa Claus, the Christmas special. But uh, I couldn't believe growing up that they'd have poor Santa Claus getting beat up by Lobo and just all the elves exploding in this book with all the weaponry. So if you haven't had a chance to read this and you're a big fan of Lobo, I highly recommend this book. So what did you guys think of my this to that from selling Noctera issue number one cover A secret variant that I bought for cover price to selling that off to getting one of my favorite DC characters and their first appearance. I think for myself, I couldn't go wrong on this and I'm glad Modern Spec paid off for me. Also, please leave in the comment section below if you sold a modern book recently to get an older key. So that's it for this video and I appreciate you watching till the end and welcome to all the new subscribers to the channel. And if you are new here, if you can kindly like, comment and subscribe on your way out and I'll see everybody on the next one. Take care.